Hi everyone, welcome back. We're here with Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 2, Episode 9, Road Trip. And look, the episode was USPIS. U-S-P-I-S, which was something I did not even know existed at all. Does it even? Actually, let's fact check that. <laughs> it does. So we are starting the day off with a Brooklyn Nine-Nine reaction because I know this will get me hype and ready for the rest of the day. It's pretty early in the morning. I'm not a mor morning person, so I definitely need this pick-me-up as well as my Wawa coffee. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this dopamine with coffee and Brooklyn Nine-Nine and get the day started. Smuggling ring knows their way around we went the undercover. So going undercover as longshoremen. Oh, you're going undercover. I got a job at the docks to support my drug habit. Oh. <laughs> I love the seagulls. What are you, Irish now? No. The leader of the cargo smuggling ring turned himself in at the 8-3. Well. Oh. You have 10 minutes. <laughs> Coffee gets cold on them docks. Oh, gosh. Twink Tucker. Now nope, you ruined it. At least it got like two minutes of it. Morning, detectives. Let's go over the prisoner transfer upstate. We're going up today and spending the night. Here are the transfer <gasps> forms. Since we're not technically on duty till tomorrow morning, I invited Sophia to join me. Okay, I was like... I don't mind at all. Teddy's never done anything that spontaneous or romantic. Wow, okay. Not the direction I thought we were going to go in and still kind of going in the direction regardless, so... Can I speak with Detective Teddy Wells, please? It's Cupid calling. So I have something I need to ask you. It's food related. I wonder if Amy told him. Until now, all we've had in common was our bank. Guess who? NYPD, hands up! <laughs> I have zero interest in food. So our bank got some new ATMs, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've switched banks. Tomorrow's my you. anniversary with Kevin. Preparing food for one's lover is the most intimate gift of all. It is indeed. <clears throat> I have a perp in the interrogation oh, room. Oh, no. All the files whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you sick? The vid. cholera? <clears throat> Cooties. This is allergies. No. That's what killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> the drug task force needs a win. That perp in there has a name of a giggle pig supplier. <coughs> Everyone get a name Please for her. Let me buy you some matzo ball soup. Hey, Sophia. Hey. They got us the room of a thousand dolls. Oh, sounds crazy. Yeah. Hey, before I forget, try to be in the lobby in about a half an hour. No, your surprises are always terrible. Oh no. Remember how you said that Teddy would never be so romantic? Again? Oh no. Oh yes. Uh, uh you're welcome. Jake, I'm about to break up with him. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that was my brain for a hot second, too. I was just like, Gee. I'm sorry, all right? I was just trying to help. Didn't you just get a joint library card? Don't remind me. I'm Are you kidding me? I didn't know they had such a thing. We have different interests. All he wants to do with his free time is make him bottle pilsners. Mm. This is fine, all right? I'll figure it out. And I don't want to say the wrong thing and hurt him more than I have to. Tonight, I will focus solely on you and Teddy. And my very naked girlfriend. Whoa. I'm gonna just head up there for a sec. I heard he's claiming police brutality. Oh, no. Just coughed on him a little. I'll get your perp to talk. I can be very persuasive. Indeed, you can. I don't need your help because I am not sick. Okay, well, this time it's your turn to trust other people. <laughs> so, but why do you need the meds if you're not sick, huh? I love your hair, though. God, Lee. I'm going back in there. We gotta go behind her back. That's the opposite side of where the germs are coming from. <laughs> go, 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 too many go. <laughs> Can we switch why don't rooms? We bathe? Yeah, we should definitely turn them around. Yeah. Once we bury them, this place could be kind of romantic. All right, don't be mad. I invited Teddy up to surprise Amy, but it turns out she wants to break up with him. I feel like I let you and all of our demon children down. For the record, very cool girlfriend. The coolest. Uh. <laughs> Can you just shove him in a closet? The closet where they can't watch us? Yes. Yep. Woo. <laughs> they did say thousand, right? <laughs> Close your eyes. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. <laughs> okay, that's good. I know you love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Why? Components have a long shelf life. They are cost effective and they're so simple a child could make them. My favorite meal it was the only dish my mother knew how to cook. Mm, bless. I feel as though I am once again inside her womb. <sighs> this is going to be hard. Try to get emotion out of him. Claire. Yikes. Bruh. Where's Teddy? He's in the shower. I'm going to be weird. We're going to break up and it's going to be super messy. If you feel like you're losing control, just say the word and I'll pull out all the stops. Safe word. I love that. Right? I can do it. I can totally be normal. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Teddy in the house. This place is really romantic. Mm-hmm. 
You should switch rooms. Give them the, the doll room. Really nice. It's got a fireplace. Teddy, think fast. Drink menu. <laughs> oh, I never need a drink menu. I got the thrills for the pills. Oh, gosh. Here he goes. That's it. Jerko, Jerko, Jerko. <laughs> I want to break it up. Oh, hey, it didn't work. Everyone excited to be here? We having a good time? We are not. <laughs> we have to act soon. <laughs> Did hey, he make an hey, eyebrow? Guess what? No, there's no Michael here. I'm Michael. You are the greatest detective I've ever known. No door. <laughs> Where is my file? You keep Diaz occupied. Permission to lock her in a distant room? No. I say lock her in a distant room. <laughs> I'm kidding. Rosa, come here. Ah, he still locked her. Pour your eggs right into the pan. If you had these like weekly cooking groups, I would totally join means the heat is a little too high oh. on those eggs. We don't want to feed Kevin burned garbage. No, we don't. Are you completely insane? The hand is the middleman. What you did is the culinary equivalent of unprotected sex. I'm like a... Hand over your spatula. What are we demoting him to? Toast? I wish in return I could get back all the time I just wasted. Oh. I'm just going to make Kevin plain toast <laughs> for breakfast. That is low. I like other drinks. <laughs> it's delicious. I want more. There are so many reasons I want to break up. As a lawyer, it's my duty to tell you to shh. Can I maybe just have two hours alone with my laptop so I can type up a draft? We should go. No, actually, I think you should stay. The real reason there's a problem in my relationship with Amy, which is you, Jake. <gasps> oh my god. About how you told was... her that you liked her before you went undercover. That was many moons ago. Was it? And every time you would, she would get confused. And if you ask me, I think it's because Amy liked you back. Maybe. Yes. Sophia! No! I was so happy I mean, for him and Sophia. I, was, I really need my laptop right All now. Right. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs and rip the heads off some dolls. Guess that's the last time I invite Teddy on a trip, right? I'm gonna go. Yeah, me too. <sighs> but like, in his defense, he tried to invite Teddy. <gasps> Can I help you? Hey, Jake, over here, man. <laughs> He's She's over here, man. You were wrong, door. I promise you, I am not into Amy. You should have seen the look on your face when you found out Amy liked you. I like you. I mean, I didn't knock on Amy's door, I knocked on yours. I mean, you knocked on a stranger's Actually, door. Actually, knocked on his door. And I'm pretty sure he's listening. No, I'm not. <laughs> Who's Amy? <laughs> <laughs> After our disagreement yesterday, I went online to read your culinary blog. To my dismay, I actually learned some food tells a story. It's warm. Kevin and I shared one on a rainy afternoon in Paris. There it's one this... of our most treasured memories. So, thank you. <sighs> it's perfect. Oh, wow. He's a natural chef. <gasps> Isn't now that the I worst? Know how Salieri <laughs> felt. <laughs> I will catch you after I'm done crushing that perp you are next. I got him to name his Giggle Pig supplier. Now go home and get better. Yes. Now I know you like to act like you don't need any help, but we all do. I asked five dudes to spot me when I'm doing my squats. Five. Thank you for all your help. No, oh, hey, a smile. Is that a smile I see? My immune system is too weak to fight off my <laughs> small muscles. <laughs> Our immune system fights off the, <laughs> the joy out of her life. You okay? Last night really broke you, huh? Actually, I think it was probably for the best. So, how to go with Sophia? That's what she really wants to know. We're still together. She's like, damn. Hey, should we make a left up here at You Used to Like Me Lane? Or Are they gonna kiss in the car? Said Amy used to like Jake Boulevard. Okay, stop it or I'll crash the car. Don't do that. Ah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, you, you know how, like, in the end of the episodes, there's always, like, a there's sometimes, like, a random shocking moment. I was like, well, what if they somehow kiss and then we just have a little bit more murk into um, this already murky situation? Well, well, well. So, yeah, when we start the episode off with, like, oh, they're going to have to go somewhere overnight, I automatically assume that somehow something might, there might be a little bit of a spark between them and it might complicate their situation because there's Teddy and Sophia in the picture now, obviously. But then he was like, no, I invited Sophia. I was like, huh, okay. But then I still kind of thought that it might still end up in that direction because maybe she will see Jake. You know how she, in, in season one, she was already kind of seeing a side of him that um, maybe she, that was getting her to be a little bit like, mm, but she never took any like, 
steps towards it, like maybe her seeing him in action, like as, you know, like if she sees what he's like as someone in a relationship, it might actually change her mind. And it came out a lot sooner when she was like, oh, like Teddy would never do something like that for me. And I was like, oh, I already see these cracks now in the relationship. But yeah, so she was already like set on breaking up with him. And I saw it going a lot worse after that initial train wreck. And I actually had said this, I was like, I wonder if Amy mentioned to Teddy about Jake liking him. Because we've never seen all of them together, really, since the the drill, whatever drill episode that was. So I was like, what if she mentioned it to him? And so instead of Amy kind of like looking at their relationship being like, oh, maybe Teddy would be the one kind of just like on edge because he was threatened by Jake. But no, he, yeah, he brought, he brought it up. Surprised that Amy didn't deny it, especially in front of Sophia. And yeah, like, wow. But again, Sophia being the cool girlfriend, despite all of that going on, like the, the night wasn't entirely ruined for them. So good on them. The room with the whatever, with the dolls is creepy AF. Um, but I guess it was just an episode of accepting help. Rosa needed to ask for help when she was sick. <laughs> the line about her immune system not being able to fight off the smile muscles, classic. I had just mentioned how like, uh, in the previous episode and season, how Jake didn't trust, not that he didn't trust her, but like he didn't listen to her. And But now it was her turn to kind of like, listen to everyone else and kind of just accept their help. And then, of course, Boyle and Captain Holt, the cooking thing, oh my gosh. <laughs> Boyle just wanting to like bond with Captain Holt was like a little bit like Amy too, but it was so cute. And the fact that Holt could not care at all, yet he's a natural. It's like, oh, how wasteful. And him, <laughs> and him, you know, also accepting Boyle's help at last. Like, he asked for it, but he really didn't want it. Like, he, he didn't, he really didn't listen. He, despite him asking for Boyle's help. He was like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do the things you're asking me to do right now. But, in the end of the day, he did go home, go through his, his blogs and everything. Even though he was scoffing the entire time. <laughs> you could just picture it, which is so funny. I like the, what they were saying about, like, food having, having that story to tell. I love eating a lot of crappy food and a yes I think it is partially because like I'm addicted to sugar which you know I mentioned before with my coffee you know dopamine but also I do know that deep down the reason I eat a lot of things like th the reason why I crave certain foods is probably because I'm chasing that emotional feeling I got from a time when I had that previously. You get what I'm trying to say. So I loved what Boyle was saying when when teaching him, when trying to help him create that meal for his anniversary. And he was able to take that lesson and find that moment that they shared before in Paris and recreate that dish. I know Kevin had to love that. And you hear a great episode full length directions available on Patreon. Make sure you check it out. Come and chat up with us over on Discord. I hope y'all are staying safe and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye y'all.